So, there's discussion about Shapeways charging $40 for the Prusa Shields, okay? These things right here, okay? So the question is, what's it actually cost? Like, does it actually cost them $40 to make each shield? I don't know, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I know we all underestimate what our costs are. So let's look into some of these numbers. Okay, now keep in mind these number, these the lowest number is for my version of the Prusa Shield. All right, that is without the extra visor, and that is in vase mode. And this is also not including making that extra piece. This is just this band right here. All right, so one printer can make either eight or twenty-four per day. If I make my vase mode shields, I can make twenty-four per day. But if my destination my customer requires prusa spec shields meaning the ones that have actually been tested i can only make about eight per day okay now machine time this is for a printer like this you know three or four hundred dollar printer plus labor to build that printer you're looking at about 500 bucks on average figure you're going to get two thousand hours out of that machine that is 25 cents per hour that that machine costs you so that's six dollars per day double that to twelve dollars per day if you're using a prusa because Prusas cost twice as much and they take twice as long to assemble. So you're looking at about $1,000 in cost um, for 2,000 hours worth of lifespan. So you're looking at um, $12 per day instead of six or um, 50 cents per hour. Electricity, for me, about 13 bucks per day per machine. So that machine right there cost me 13 bucks a day to run. Right. Um, filament, cheap filament. If you're looking at cheap filament, two kilograms, 40 bucks. If you're doing these out of PETG or um, another nicer filament, you're looking at $60 to do these. Okay? Um, labor, one person, $20 an hour, which I think is pretty damn cheap for a technical position. 1.5 hours per machine. Now, this is actually kind of a, a weird number because um, that's me printing my 35 stack, uh, which uses less filament, less time, etc., etc., but um, it's about two hours per machine, but you gain benefits when you do multiple machines. So I'm averaging it to 1.5 hours. That's 30 bucks there. Then you have shipping, postage, and packaging. About 20 bucks. I actually think this is going to be quite a bit higher because this number here is based on these. Not based on these, and not based on these complete, meaning with the shields and everything in place. That's going to dramatically raise the price of this. Um... But we might be able to still call it 20 bucks if they're delivering locally. If they're shipping these, they're probably looking at 40 bucks. Now, this does not include a lot of variables. This is just my cost here at home in New Mexico, one of the cheapest places you can live using a Chinese machine to process these. Okay? Then you have to add rent and lease, taxes, other payroll, supplies. And this also does not include the flexi, the elastic, or the labor required and or the machines required what does your 40 watt um, co2 laser cost what is your per hour cost in electricity and machine time to run that laser to cut those masks hey tim what does that machine cost you and if you were to actually make a company charging for these things what would you charge per hour to run that laser what's your normal rate to run that laser okay got to add that into the flexi cost the plastic is actually the lowest cost in the whole thing your cost is all in the labor and the machine time and electricity elastic Got to have a person sit there and cut those things, and you have to buy it. Again, labor is your biggest expense, not the elastic itself. So what is our costs? Well, assuming I make um, 24 per day, that's $109 per day. So it costs me $4.54 to produce one of these. If I were to actually factor in all of my actual costs, it's $4.54 to produce one of these. And that's my vase mode version where I can make 24 a day, use a lot less filament. If I were to make it to Prusa spec, I'd be $14.94 per day. Okay? I'm sorry, spec would be $14.94 per day. Prusa spec would be $16.50 per day. This is if I were using a, a, a Prusa. So I'm using a Chinese printer. $15 per day if I were to make these to the Prusa specifications. If I were to use a Prusa printer, I'd be looking at $16.50 per day to produce these to the Prusa specification, meaning the three-hour print that takes to make one of these, meaning eight, eight per day per machine, okay? $16.50. And again, that is not including rent, lease, taxes, other payroll, supplies, the flexi, the elastic, and labor to do all of this. 
I could very, very easily see their costs being 30 bucks per mask. Not a problem, easy. $40 is not outrageous. Whether they actually cost them $40 or not, I don't know, but you also have to factor something else. This is $12 per day using a Prusa Mark III, okay? 50 cents per hour. What does this come to when your machine costs $20,000 and you have a labor contract to service that machine that you also have to factor, factor into this cost? I mean, I'm pretty sure Shapeways isn't using a farm of Prusa Mark III's. I'm pretty sure they're using like Stratasys machines and stuff like that. You know, those things are fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars and include, you know, several hundred dollar a month service contracts. What's this what's their machine cost? All right? So before pulling out the pitchforks, it might actually cost them that much to do it. I mean, me doing this at home to Prusa specifications on a Joseph Prusa Mark III would cost me sixteen dollars and fifty cents per mask complete out the door that's not the vase mode version that i made that's their specification version with the shield with the elastic oh and that does not include the little extra piece on the bottom so you're probably going to add 25 cents per mask to do that okay plus labor um so yeah i mean 30 40 bucks per out of a, a company that actually has bills and has to pay people not entirely unreasonable that's one of the reasons why i'm making this version because this version, um, by stacking, I can reduce my labor costs dramatically because I can just tell one machine to go and come back in 24 hours and 35 are done. But it's going to take me a half an hour to separate all of those and package them up. So I have to add that into the value as well. And also, I'm shipping these off to Tim Hooligan where he is going to take care of the elastic if necessary and the, um, the flexi part, which I don't have the means, money or otherwise, to take care of. All right, so before comparing your costs... Well, first, actually figure out your costs. All of it. Actually genuinely figure out your costs. I don't have to add labor to this. I can donate my labor. Because it's me giving the labor. I can do that. Shapeways can't. They have to pay those people. They can't say, hey, this work is going to a hospital, so you're not getting paid today. <laughs> they can't do that. How many employees do they have? How much time do they have to spend per day per machine? And how many masks does that machine make per day? Well, until we know all that, I'd prefer not to go trying to burn them like a witch. You know, let's, let's find out first. I think a lot of you would be surprised how much value you were actually donating to this effort. And I applaud that. I am. I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm not factoring this. But it's not costing me zero. I mean, I have to pay that $13 per machine. I have to maintain these machines and build them. Okay? I have to buy this filament. I mean, I, I don't have to buy the filament now because I got 700 rolls out in my trailer. But, you know, I paid for all that filament. That wasn't sent to me for free. <laughs> okay? I got to pay this shipping. All right? That's going to be substantial. The only one of these values that I can actually erase as irrelevant is labor. Because I can donate my labor. They can't. So, now, does that, does that mean I'm siding with Shapeways? No. Does that mean I think $40 is a fair price? I don't know. And that's what your answer should be. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> if that price is too high, then you pull out the pitchforks and you hold their ass to the fire. Okay, because they should be bringing their costs as close to zero as possible. They shouldn't lose money. They should be able to break even. But they also really, you know, okay, there's nothing wrong with them profiting. But in this environment, I would say it's justified to expect them to forego profit. To do it at cost. I just think a lot of you massively underestimate what their costs are. Do this math for yourself. You know, do your math for your machine, okay, your electricity, your filament, your labor, your shipping, all right? If you're a business, how do these other values factor into your price? Have you ever actually sat down and figured it out? A lot of people don't. It's a lot of numbers. You just, you know, as long as you come out positive, you're happy, you're good when you're a small operation like I am. And then actually figure out what your per piece cost is. I think you might be surprised. So Shapeways, how about chiming in here? Give us a breakdown of what your costs are. What does it actually cost you to make one of these things? You know, give us some numbers here. I mean, you don't have to. You could ignore us, but I think it would be good for um, good PR toward the community if you did.